Hey YouTube, real quick, I'm going to try to make it as quick and simple as possible. I hate watching videos of guys trying to explain something and they just rattle on and I get right to the point. Right to the point is, was, I got in my truck this morning. I got a 2000 uh, Freightliner uh, Century 120. It's got the Detroit 60 Series uh, 430 in it. Uh, what I did this morning, I come in, I uh, got in. Uh, turned the key on, let the gauges dance like they're supposed to, then come back off, fired it up. Notice I didn't have no oil pressure. Uh, kind of find out my RPM gauge wasn't working either, my water temperature gauge wasn't working, and my speedometer wasn't working. <coughs> Quick and simple to find out what the problem was, sorry about the hand, is if you can look down in my fuse box, the fuse boxes, you know, up here in front of the passenger seat. If you can look down in my fuse box real quick, you see how dirty and nasty and cruddy it was. Come to find out, so I checked all these fuses in the first place, right off the bat. But come to find out, the ignition fuse, it says IGN, I'm guessing it's the ignition. Uh, I pulled it out, it was just as cruddy as uh, everything else. So uh, what I did, I pulled that fuse out, sprayed some contact cleaner in there real good and everything, put the fuse back in. And uh, so when I put the fuse back in, go ahead, bub. So when I put the fuse back in, let it do what all it's supposed to do. All the bells, the whistles, and sirens and everything went off. And go ahead and fire it up. Ah, so there went my tachometer right off the bat. And I noticed I got oil pressure. Now if you can see it. There it is, oil pressure works, temperature gauge is working. The voltmeter was working, but the tack wasn't. So I got everything I need to do. And uh, I got everything good to go. All it was was that fuse down there and it was dirty. It cost, cost me about six hours out here, seven hours from seven o'clock this morning uh, out here working on it now and it's just 2.30 and I, and I finally got it figured out. i uh, seen it on another video, but that fuse down there wasn't getting a good connection and that's all it was. I cleaned it out with some contact cleaner, real good, and some Q-tips, stuck it back in, fired it right back up. I hope this, guys, I hope this helps you guys out there, anybody else having that problem. I will put this on YouTube with every kind of uh, contact keyword I, I could think of on this problem so you can directly get to it. Hey, you guys uh, be safe out there. Keep on trucking.